<clears throat> but enough with the talks. You want to see action. You want to see Warcraft. And you get some Warcraft here. It is uh, on the side of Norwood. <clears throat> 12 o'clock and 2 o'clock. Lolliet and his ally Focus. They were playing GCS last time. They played WFDC last time. Um, fourth and third place, I think, was their results. So they are amongst the favorites because they're pretty damn good. Now, they don't really practice this, I think. So let's see. The other team hails from China. It is another Orc Night Elf. It's a mirror this time. And yeah. Is it Moon Fans? Is he back? I don't know. But his ally is Anson, and I have never in my life heard of Anson. So, I don't know what to expect of his. Um, Focus and Alliance should be the superior team. If, uh, if these two are not two and two specialists, then Focus and Alliance are definitely uh, the big favorites here. But we have seen the first upset today with King's Todd and Shao KK taking a map off of TED and High News. So, especially in two and two, where it's not down to a super micro. But more team communication, timing, stuff like that, and strategies, of course. Um, they can always be up for a surprise. So let's see. It's a Blade Master here. It's a Demon Hunter here. It's a Demon Hunter here with a Huntress build. Mass Hunts or not? Doesn't look like it. Um, and a blade master here. I think no surprises. Nope The light was scouting this and it's not what of course the blade masters will go uh, to a little shopping trip Steal the items here the from the null broods are under attack while the two night elves are battling each other. That's exactly what happens here So since it's focus we can assume that he's superior in creeping since he knows every creeper out inside out He's a little unlucky for a start with the ring of protection, but Anson is doing the exact same thing While well, Focus and M fans battle with their uh, Demon Hunters. Both are going for the normal Huntress build, not Mass. They're synced up to the fullest. No human equals boring. Oh, well, we have another human here today with Yumiko playing with WFZ. And the first clause of the game. For focus, he was scanning for this one, and now he knows. Ah, the blade master is around the corner. Who's gonna get the brute? Ah, oh, focus does with the backstab here, and he escapes. No harm done. Players forces are under attack. Focus with the first claw, Anson with the first claw. So things are pretty equal. Oh, the blade masters here, uh, the the demon hunters. Damn it, what's up today? He wanted to go for a wisp block. So nice idea by M fans. Oh, backstab is coming in. Booyah! Lolliot in trouble. In deep, deep trouble. Focus, no intention of helping him. But he just stops with the Blade Master. What the hell? Speed scroll being used, though, and he kills it. So, good opening for M fans and Anson. T2 tech on the way. It wasn't the one borrow tech, I think. He needs the grunts to creep this. T2 tech on the way for Law Light as well. Here we have the, the same build siege. on both sides. But an early war mill. I wonder if it's just for Kodo Beast since Command Aura is just perfect for 2 and 2. But this is of course more map control now. With the absence of a Blade Master on Focus's side. Oh, he's back already. Okay, so uh, forget about everything. It was just a level 1 hero, so a few seconds and he's back. Huntress mirror. Creeping. But we have a mana fountain here. Is it? If he goes talents, if, if someone goes talents, this is of course awesome. And for walkers in general, it's great. But I don't think it's that big of a difference. Um, since it's mirror. The demon hunter died. Of course it was uh, Lawline with his demon hunter. But he's back as well. As I said, I haven't casted in a long time, so I might be a little rusty here, excuse me. 
player's forces are under attack. Another creep jack coming in. Uh, oh, with the poison. That is super dangerous for focus here. First grunt down immediately. I think in two and two you always go for a few more grunts than usual. And still losing two of them is not the best thing. And that's exactly what happens to focus here. Oh, I can get the hero kills though. Demon Hunter down. Oh, almost down. Seeking for revenge for his buddy. And that's the first town portal. That can hurt. 350 gold, but on the other side, it's two grunts that's 400 gold. So maybe a trade uh, worth doing. He really misses the Keeper of the Grove now. But all right. There we go. Second claw. And the gloves and a circlet. Definitely a trifecta here. But Ensign is putting on a lot of pressure on La Light. I didn't expect that. And he's going for talents. Maybe it's due to the mana fountain. But I think against Orc in general, the magic damage plus Fury Fire uh, is worth so much. Especially with the vision you have. Naga by La Light now. Is there a Shadow Hunter coming? Yes, there is. No expansion, more creeping. Oh, but he starts to creep while the Naga is doing some shots. I don't know if that's ideal, but he wants to finish it. Wants to get the Blade Master to three, and of course, uh, Heal Wave is never to be underestimated. Hex on the bottom. Even more damage here. But he gets the second Hex out, gets the backstab, and down she goes. First hero kill on the side of the two Koreans. The only Korean team, if I'm not mistaken, in this tournament. And the Lion was preparing for this one, for the Red Drake, with a few archers. He scans for the Blade Master, so he knows, okay, you will not steal this one. Toe of Experience and Devotion Aura. I think you can skip the Protection Scroll then, if you have the Devotion Aura, so it's not that bad in 2 and 2. Heal Scroll on Anson's side. But yeah, Laliad's numbers look a lot better. Now with Talents on the field. Against Dryads. So of course the Dryads counter Talents. But can they dispel everything? I mean, you need so much dispel. What's Focus's army like? Just the Beastery, no walkers. So they don't have to spell except for Wisps. And the next fight. Oh, can he snipe the Kodo Beast? That would be great. But look at the damage output, especially for range. It's plus four already. Blade Master battle here. Focus has to be super careful. He's trying to go for the Kodo, but it doesn't really work. Invo Potion used now. And it looks like the Koreans are uh, losing this one here. But with a hero kill, maybe they can turn it around. Shadow Hunter level up. Demon Hunter level up. At the exact same moment. Oh no! The Demon Hunter is surrounded. Both Demon Hunters fall if you saw it on the right. <laughs> Very funny fight here. Now we see Serpent Wards for even more piercing damage or damage in general. The Blade Master escapes just barely, but he's revealed! And he survives and gets a healing, man. Sick, sick, sick. Escape. The bottom is leveling up. Serpent Wards are not... Uh, Synergizing with his aura, by the way. Oh my god, focus with another invul potion. So good that he was back to the shop. His Kodo Beast falls though, but the Blade Master of Ansan goes down after an Ant Snare, and now the Kodo falls as well. But of course, the trade once again, pretty damn good. And the Koreans now leading in supply, massive lead in supply. Blade Master is healed up again, backstep on the bottom. Gone is the range aura. Oh my god, this dude is such a beast. 192 critical strike. And the Kodo, he gets them as well. They're wiping the floor now with their allies. It looked pretty good for the longest time. A player's but it's too late now. 
damage boost of the serpent wards, Potom Aura and Kodo didn't help against the strength of a Naga and Potom uh, and and um, Talons. Both heroes lost for M fans. There are a few raiders, but they can't really grab. Okay, now mass repair on that altar, of course. The giant's trying to help. Anson is coming from the bottom to somehow interfere with this. And it succeeds. He distracts the army. But that's all he does. Like, he can't do damage. The raiders are still great. Doesn't matter if against dryads or buildings. Because there's no blocker line in terms of... In, in form of runs. And now there's no repair anymore. Now there's siege damage. And now the altar falls. He won't get the heroes back. Blade Master and Shadow Hunter are on their own now. And yeah. Lots and lots and lots of archers. Very cost efficient. Double kill again. GG! For the Koreans here. Taking the 1 0 lead. After 11 minutes on Nullwood. That was uh, closer than expected. But yeah, once you have like, in a mirror, once you have a 10 supply disadvantage and can't catch up with heroes, that's just what happens, man. It was just a snowball. Heroes were better. Um, serpent wards, I don't know yet. Because you want the serpent wards against, uh, of course, the hunters, but there weren't too many. And then you want them against the range, like walkers, dryads, uh, talents. But if you put them in range so they can attack these range units, they can always be attacked as well. So they will be sniped in like a split of a second. And yeah, that's why I think serpent wards are not that great. But all right. <clears throat> Second map is twisted. They don't really, they don't want Goldshire, right? I don't know why. The best map. Okay, colors remain the. No, of course they flipped colors. So updating that. And focus and low it would be wait a second. Um, would they be the opponents of Ted and High Noon? Yes. So if they win this map, they will be the opponents of Ted and High Noon. Um, which is actually when is it? Sunday? I think I can't cast it, but it should be Sunday. So Rasenschwein is piggy bank. <laughs> All right. Uh, chat enabled, and here we go. Second map of this quarterfinal. Match points for these guys spawning in the north of Twisted Meadows. The north remembers, of course, but uh, it's good to remember the last game because they won. Focus on the left. He could go for the rock golem creep. I don't know if it's done in two and two, but it would be a cool jump start for the Blade Master. And yeah, Lolliot in the upper right with an engine of war in the op opponent's base. That is M Fan's base right here on the right side of the south, and Anson spawning here with most likely a Blade Master. So this will be super annoying. Of course he has a little advantage uh, in terms of building time. So he can do something to the altar, to a moon well, to the other engine of war. 
but he shouldn't be too far away from the forest because that's where he wants to be so uh, he can eat the trees and regenerate and be annoying even longer that's the task here so far no huntress hall though on neither side we don't see a second engine of war what is low light playing here what is this little troll up to is he not going huntress oh almost blocking uh, the demon under there but i think it's not possible a player's forces are under attack This is quite some damage. And losing the altar that early, man, he has to repair. That costs resources. He's not uprooting the engine of war to fight this because he needs units with this. He can't attack with the demon hunter. And yeah, Blade Master got. No, did not get the golem. But he had the shop in position. I don't know what's up. Demon hunter joins the fray here as well. But he's knocking down that altar. Only Here's now comes repair. And Lolai now with Huntress holding the second engine of war, so it's the usual build, but with an engine of war in his base, so everything is a little delayed. I think he needs to keep this alive, man. Otherwise, it's so easy to enter the base. And we saw how many heroes died, so they the need altars. Are under attack. attack by Ansan. Good scouting by Focus. Okay, another position here. That's exactly what I meant. A little more protection from what's to come. So maybe he's going for the Entangled Gold Mine or whatever. <laughs> so annoying. That takes so much time off the clock for M fans. On the other side, tech is quite far progressed. Focus with a very, very fast tech. Nice block, though. Hi, Ensign. Gets a few free hits out. Ooh, that's very good. Wow. Can he get it one more time? Yes, he can. Ah, oh, but not this time anymore. Now he should be too fast. Oh, yes, he is. And there would be a Blade Master. He only sees the grunt. A player's forces wow, are Lalite is in trouble again! We saw this on the first map! Blade Master is following, he can suicide himself into the creeps to not give experience. Let's see if this works. Backstab, never backstab! A lot of mana invested, but this Demon Hunter is dead. And so Lalite has to wait a bit. Once again, good start for Mfans and Anson. Pretty much, but what's the other Blade Master looking like? When of mana stealing are already. Alright. Moonbrace is sold immediately. There's nothing Focus and Allied can do right now. Oh, maybe he can go for the Demon Hunter! Backstab again! Oh no, he could have blocked him, but the speed scroll is the savior. Crazy how much you can do with so little. Just two heroes there. And in the main base, he's still draining resources. Attack. It's like a constant handicap because he has to repair this. And now with the Naga, they're claiming map control. Don't have a dust though. Double engine of law this time for Lolite. No Players talents. This attack. should be a normal mirror match. Reveal being used. Boom, Huntress dead. Still waiting for the bottom. And it looks if they can get a good fight, Anson and M fans, they can take this map home for sure. The hero kill got a, got a big advantage, but whoa. Lolite thinks, well, I lost my hero. It's definitely time for an expansion right here. A 
player's force is level two blade master level one demon hunter still but this goes for both sides and the lion's demon hunter of course way behind focus on the other side level three shadow hunters are out and finally it's time to tear down this engine of war no lores whatever oh there's one Focus kept the rock golem for a second hero. Oh, it's gonna be close though. No, he's scared away from the rest of the heroes. And we find a room of the Magi. Good item. Almost another new heal wave. But Blade Master level 3 here as well. Engine of War is dead. So finally, the Potoms and Archers can do something. In this matchup, they're great against Dryads. And that's what they're there for. So easy to produce, so cheap, so fast. And if they die, they don't give a lot of experience. Oh, nice scout. And that was quite a big investment by Lalayat. Players' forces are under attack. He's still down in supply. He is supply stuck. He was counting on this expansion. So he doesn't have another Moonwell as it seems. No, nope, only started it now. So no more Dryads for quite a bit of time. Oh no, but he can't kill it. It was so close, but he can't kill it. And now he's up to 50. He has additional income. This thing is pretty safe. A player's forces are under attack. I don't see a, a dedicated push coming towards this because they can be sandwiched from both sides. Greater mana. Meh, for the Shadow Hunter, it's amazing though. So, as Twisted Meadows is, a lot of creeping going on. Braces again. Lots of braces here today. Of course, everybody is seeking for the auras. Remove the Magi. So equalizing here. A player's forces are under attack. Oh no! They find Ensign! And here's Ensnares. He's going for the Shadow Hunter. There is no TP. There's only heal waves to save him. And the big utility hero is down. Speed Scroll is coming in, eating a grunt. But there's more Ensnare where that came from, I think. No. Nope. Focus has to run away this time because uh, M fans took the town portal. But great encounter for the Koreans. Now they have the expansion working for them. They have a pretty good amount of supply. They got the hero kill, slowed down the progress of their opponents. Oh, but the Naga being caught, being slowed, being ensnared, and being killed on their side. Three, three heroes for focus. One. One and one for the Lion, right? Sick, man. And he has to TP out. Great recovery by M Fans and Anson. I thought with the catch here, it would be over. But not yet. Not yet. No tier 3. Shadowhunter is coming back. No tier 3 here as well. Uh, Lolayan has the same. Just A more Dryads. Naga attack. coming back on level 1 super fast. Shadowhunter was level 2 already, so that took a little bit of time. And Anson and M fans, I've never heard of them before, but they can catch up. Or they can keep up with Focus and Lolayan. Who, in my opinion, are not the greatest 2 and 2 team. Like, pretty uncreative compared to Shishi and Fly. Oh, but here's the next fight going on. And the bottom dies immediately before Focus TPs out. What a slayer this guy is. Second hero kill. But forced into another town portal. He wants this level 3. Now he has good bone chimes. Great for the orc army. Not so great for himself. So I think he could sell it. Focus almost losing the Blade Master here. Forcing the final heal wave. And can they get the revenge, man? Can they get the second map? 
Serpent wards again. TP in from the Lion. The position is not that bad here. A lot of protection from the buildings. Grunt down, Huntress down, Heal Wave rattling through, but that doesn't help too much. The Naga is, of course, super exposed. Will die. No staff and uh, crit, crit kills him. But on the other side, surround the Demon Hunter. And, of course, you do that trade all the time. Trading a Demon Hunter for a Naga is an absolute no-brainer. Of course, the advantage for the shop is on Focus's side. Blade Master versus Demon Hunter is also not going that well with the shop behind him. And slowly but steady, as on map one, the Koreans are reigning over here, over the Chinese here. Desperate attempt of a hero kill, but here comes Focus again. 153 crit, another crit behind that, and he's stuck and he can't get out. So both first heroes dead, the main damage output is lost. And so is this best of three for M fans. And Anson. The snakes are doing the best they can, but with the Kodo being gone too, they are just wiping the floor with archers here. Shadowhunter is ensnared. Will die as well. Or the army dies. Whatever they focus now, it dies. He can't retreat, has no TP. And that's the GG, and that rhymes. And what rhymes is always good. Damn, still. Uh, pretty cool to see them in 2 and 2. I like the Serpent Ward edition to a degree, but I explained on map 1 why I don't like it too much. Um, and Hex is just pretty damn good. I mean, you saw it. The Disable uh, worked out very, very well. So, Lalight and Focus versus TD and Hainu is our first semi-final of WFDC 33. We will have two more quarterfinals here. The next one will be probably the best one since we see Yumiko and WFZ, the super unusual human, ver uh, Night Elf, uh, human and undead combo versus the former world champions and the current vice champions of WFDC and GCS. Fly 100% and Shishi, the acrobats. And uh, yeah, throwing you into a small commercial break. I hope you stick with me here on this replay cast today. We're gonna be right back in uh, 